Hi guys, I actually tried making this video once before and it was a bit of a baby disaster. It just didn't work out very well. So this time, instead of five minutes, I'm going to give myself six minutes to get through as many of your questions as possible. Um, this uh, is just everything that you put in, whether you put it in through Twitter, I have stuff from the YouTube videos that I've done before. If you put in a question, it is in this giant pile on my table. So. Let's put six minutes on the clock, and this is basically just going to be like a straight run through of as many questions as I can possibly get through. So I have my timer ready to go, I'm going to hold my first question, and I'm going to start it now. Okay, first question. Uh, are you going to make walkthroughs? Probably not walkthroughs, but I would like to make videos. So, uh, gameplay videos, I really want to start Twitch streaming, uh, that's probably something I'm going to get into. Uh, what are some of your favorite shows to watch and what did you think of the 50th? I assume you mean the 50th anniversary episode of Doctor Who, which was fucking amazing. Uh, I would say excuse my language, but you know I don't mean it. Uh, other than that, what else do I love? Uh, Friends and Torchwood are also a couple of my favorite shows. I'm really big on sitcoms, but I also like heavy sci-fi, Firefly, one of my favorite shows of all time. Anything Whedon. Yeah, okay. Uh, how much percentage of the comments are misogynist? It's actually gotten a lot better thanks, uh, since people have sort and sort of gotten to know who I am and not just seen me as a girl, they've seen me as, you know, you guys know me as a person, not just me as my gender, and I think that makes a really big difference. Um, also, you guys just being supportive, and when the jerks come around, I don't have to just be the only one saying shut the fuck up, because you guys are right there, like, supporting me and being like, hey, no. Like, she does this, or she does that, she writes her scripts, she edits her videos, and I really appreciate that. Okay. Uh, what's your all-time favorite game? It is The Longest Journey, uh, followed closely by Knights of the Old Republic. Next question. Have you ever considered moving to the States? And if you ever would, what city or state would you want to move to? Um, I have considered it. I have considered it. Uh, although... I really like the atmosphere and the culture of Australia. It's really nice. People aren't lying when they say it's laid back, the weather's beautiful. Um, there's a lot of pluses if I was going to move to the States. Well, getting spots in San Fran, and San Fran seems pretty great. Other than San Fran, probably New York. One of the hubs, I think, would be cool. Okay, what else we got? Uh, what is your pick, Xbox One or PS4? I kind of covered off on this on my first episode of The Gist, which I'll link below, and also my last Console Wars video, uh, PS4. PS4 for me. Um, just nothing particular about the console, I think it's just got games that I would prefer. Uh, Colin Kelly asks, are you single? Question mark. No, Colin Kelly, I am not. Uh, if you could pick any video game universe to live in, what would it be and why? Oh my god, okay, this would be horrible to live in, but I would love to see Rapture. Like, if I wasn't gonna die, that is my favorite video game universe. Oh my god, Rapture is just beautiful. Everything about it is just hauntingly lovely. Next one. Can you do a song for us, please? I probably will. Uh, I really like singing and it's a it's something that I do all the time in my spare time and it's something that I would like to make a part of my YouTube thing so if you guys want to see me singing things occasionally let me know in the comments because that's definitely something that could probably happen did you like Bioshock Infinite yes uh, because I loved every second of that game yeah I know it's kind of controversial and a bunch of people didn't like it a bunch of people including a lot of my colleagues but to be honest I just found it as a really fun action game and uh, it's colorful it was bright it was you know it had flaws but a lot of games have flaws and I thought it was still really good uh, what can a foreigner not native English speaker do to get into video game journalism professionally Dude, everyone has video games. Everyone plays video games. You don't need to be an English speaker at all. I mean, there are definitely heaps of different publications that are coming out from non-English speaking backgrounds that are catered towards video game journalism, so that's definitely not something which writes you out. Um, just the same way as anybody else. Write up a portfolio, pursue it, um, just build up a reviews thing that you've done, get a Tumblr, get a WordPress. Get examples of your work. That's the best way to get into anything in this creative industry. Uh, 
Will we ever see you with a new hairdo like a ponytail? So the thing is I get up at just before 6 o'clock in the morning to make this video and uh, depending on uh, news videos, depending on when they're due, it'll either be 9 in the morning or 10 or 11 in the morning. So the last thing I'm thinking about when it's that early in the morning is how I'm doing my hair. I'm, I'm just tired. I just want to sleep. Uh, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Again! kind of relates to what I said before. I really love Australia, but to be honest, I'm really thinking about embracing a different kind of culture or a different country soon, so it's something I'm considering. All right, don't know how much time we've got left. Uh, where do you get all your shirts? You wear the coolest graphic tees. Redbubble.com. Redbubble.com is the place to go. I also have some Jinx tees, and I just got a bunch of um, uh, tank tops from Four Human Peoples. Uh, which are freaking cool. What else we got? Uh, was not expecting that singing voice. <laughs> what are three of your favorite video games? Okay, I'll say ones I haven't said before. Um, Bioshock, I kind of already said. Um, Beyond Good and Evil is one of my favorite video games. Uh, Dragon Age. And what else do I like? What else do I like? I'm trying to pick a good one. Um, well, Mass Effect. Mass Effect is amazing. Okay. Uh, do you think the Wii U is failing? I think the Wii U has more of a place that, than we're accepting that it does. I think it's a lot of hardcore gamers saying that the Wii U is failing, and I think the Wii U could have the opportunity to be really successful among the casual market. I think Nintendo just decided to go for a hardcore audience, which they've never had before, um, apart from on their handheld consoles, and even then. Oh my god, time is up. Time is up. Okay. So that's all we've got time for. I hope that was interesting. I hope I wound up that last question. The answer is, yeah, the Wii U's kind of failing, but I don't think that means that Nintendo is failing. And I think if Nintendo take the right tack, they can bring it back. Okay. I hope those were the questions that you wanted to answer. And if I didn't get you to yours, I'm very sorry. I'm gonna be holding some um, Twitter AMAs. So you can ask me questions there and uh, hopefully I'll get to yours then if I missed it today. But as per usual, thank you so much for leaving me your comments and suggestions and what are very often very, very kind thoughts which make my day in the comments down below on my YouTube or my Twitter or my Facebook or my Instagram or my blah, 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 social medias. Um, but I hope you guys all have a really great day. Thank you so much for your questions and for watching this video. And I'll see you again soon.